Hi everyone, this is not a coding tutorial, but I'd like to help you get started with coding by suggesting a couple of affordable ways, you know, to get started with uh, Python and of course, deep learning. Now, I was a bit surprised and disappointed to learn that uh, some of you are using smartphones to learn Python. Well, I'm not disappointed in you, I'm disappointed that uh, you were not able to afford a piece of uh, you know decent hardware to learn Python. I think if anyone having a will to learn should be able to learn. So in this video, I'm gonna propose two things. One, uh, Raspberry Pi, and two, Google Colab. With these two, you can definitely get started with Python and deep learning using GPU. Okay, first of all, if you don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, uh, uh, you should. And this is a computer. Literally, this is a computer. And if you know what this is, great. Okay, you probably know what I'm gonna uh, talk about. So this, you can purchase this on Amazon in the US, anywhere from 35 bucks to 75 bucks, depending on what you're trying to uh, get in addition to the Raspberry Pi module itself. But uh, if you're in other countries, for example, in India, you can find something like this anywhere between $4,000 to about, sorry, 4,000 rupees to about seven or 8,000 rupees. Now, this is, like I said, a computer. It's actually gotten, uh, you know, you can see there's a GPIO port. So if you wanna connect any external hardware, you can use this. But more importantly, as you can see on one side, you have a HDMI port. So you can connect this to a TV in your house. Now, my assumption here is, all of you have some sort of a uh, modern TV that takes in HDMI as uh, input. Because this, when you purchase this, it doesn't come with anything. This is, this is it, this is what you get. In fact, maybe not even the box, but the electronics inside, yeah? So to this, you need to connect external hardware. So for monitor, I recommend uh, you know connecting it to your TV. I'm pretty sure this time is much more worth than watching entertainment on TV for sure. Okay, but by now I'm pretty sure after all these three or four months of quarantine, you probably exhausted all the content anyway. So you may as well use your uh, TV as a monitor. Now, uh, I also recommend actually, it's a mess here. I also recommend getting just a keyboard like this, okay, with a USB port and uh, also a mouse, the regular standard mouse. You can get fancy if you want, but again, the whole point of this of this uh, video is to make it affordable. So connect all of those you know, to your Raspberry Pi and the monitor and you should be all set to start. There are, again, this, this works on Linux. So uh, you can install a lot of uh, different types of Python IDEs to get started and then do bulk of your learning right with this. Now, if you wanna do machine learning, if you want to do deep learning where you can use GPU for your training purposes, then sign up for Google Colab. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about, okay, now we have this. What do we do with uh, Colab? Okay, so the next tutorial is going to be about getting started with Colab. So let's, uh, let me uh, close this. Let me actually go ahead and uh, connect these and let's fire this thing up, okay? the mouse and keyboard are connected. So let's go ahead and connect the power. Okay, so now any moment it should start and this is the last screen that you see when Linux is booting. And now it should take only a few seconds for Linux to be up and running. I apologize for this bad screen quality. I'm just recording the screen, not the screen in its native form. Well, I managed to connect to my Raspberry Pi using v VNC. So hopefully this would be slightly higher resolution than uh, my, uh, you know, my iPhone video. But uh, anyway, so now we have this Raspberry Pi, you know, uh, uh, Linux up and running. So the first thing I advise you to do is to explore and understand if you are not used to Linux, but uh, it does come with the Python free installed. If not, you can go ahead and install Python. So let's go ahead and open Python 3 idle uh, console. By the way, if you have kids, uh, they can uh, definitely enjoy by working with scratch programming. It's amazing, okay? Uh, okay, so here is our Python IDE and you can go ahead and get started. Now, let's just do A equals three, B equals, I don't know, five, and A plus B. So there you go. 
so you can get started with Python. Now, if you want Spider IDE, I'm pretty sure you can install that on Linux. So let's go ahead and open Google Chrome. If uh, I think it comes uh, with uh, Firefox as default, but you can install obviously Google Chrome. So let's uh, actually search for, I think I did uh, search for this, but let's go ahead and search for, let's go to google.com first of all, okay? And uh, if you wanna search for, uh, let's say uh, Anaconda on uh, Raspberry Pi, I think it's just sudo pip install, you know, uh, so you can look at installing 64-bit Anaconda on Raspberry Pi. In fact, if you just type spider IDE, you can just install spider, okay? So you go ahead and install this and learn your programming right here. So yeah, I looked at this just a few seconds ago, so I wanted to show you this. Uh, sudo apt get install spider3, if you just go ahead and type this in the terminal, Go ahead and open the terminal and it should install your uh, spider but i recommend installing the entire anaconda package now once you are done with that now you want to do deep learning obviously on a raspberry pi you cannot do deep learning or anything uh, so let's go ahead and type colab dot google dot com oh sorry colab dot actually this is research dot google dot com Okay, if you're already signed in, again, uh, obviously you need to sign up for a Google account. It takes you directly to your Colab and this is where you get into your uh, deep learning and I'll cover that in the next tutorial. So please stay tuned and I hope you found this tutorial to be useful. Please go ahead and get yourself a $50 Raspberry Pi even if you have lots of money to purchase a Mac or MacBook or something, Raspberry Pi is fun. You can write little bits of code and attach it to your garage opener and open your garage, you know, by writing a few lines of code, by connecting it to your uh, smartphone. You can do a lot of tricks with uh, Raspberry Pi. So please go ahead and uh, do yourself a favor, get started with Raspberry Pi and Python and of course deep learning. So please stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you.